time to move vehicles around. We're digging today. As you can see, my method of filling up the backhoe. I uh, kind of rubbed that. Same thing's happened to that truck. Got some gas cans down there. Fill that up. And what we're going to do is we're going to park the truck right in here, start digging away at the bank. So we got to move this air compressor out of the way. That's where Donald shot through my house. I'm in Hell's Canyon. And we're getting some railroad ties for Donald. He's going to use that to build a cattle chute. <laughs> and all these vehicles laying around. I got another one back in there, and I'm bringing more vehicles up on the property this week. I own too many vehicles, and now I'm buying something else. <laughs> oh well. All right, dump trucks fired up. They don't run very well, but it starts every time. So now we're gonna put up the driveway, get it in position. Do you hear that? I don't know if it will back in the driveway or not. It might just kick up the stone everywhere. I might put this camera down to do this. <laughs> this thing is a joy to drive. I'm very limited on space because the well is right there. So obviously I got my marker so I can see it. And the house is right here. And until we get some of that cleared out, I can't back around the house. And until my yard's leveled out, I can't drive around with a dump truck that way around the house. So I guess our main goal right now is to get it so I can move the, the dump truck around the house. So. All right, in all those weeds, you can see the back is up there. And the issue is that uh, there's a bunch of stumps up there, the wheels keep getting caught, and I can't really keep driving it because it keeps trying to push it down this bank. So I'm on the edge of the bank, so I need to get yanked out somehow. I'm not sure how I'm going to use my trucks and chains to yank me out while I'm driving the machine. Because, I mean, it's pretty particular, I'll be honest with you. At this point, if I mess up, I'm rolling 15,000 pounds of backhoe down that bank. And uh, not only will I lose a backhoe, I don't know if that's survivable. <laughs> All right, so I have no help today, so I kind of got to do this on my own. So I got the dump truck up here. That was fun. I think I've destroyed a snowblower, don't want to. Um, it's hard to see, but I got this tow strap here and hooked to the bucket. And I gave it a yank, and it's going to move this backhoe. But right now, my biggest issue is that the bucket's tearing in, so we need to raise the bucket. And I got one of the outriggers down there, and I might just take a little bit of pressure off it, but still leave it down so it'll catch it. Well, I think this should be able to pull it up. If not, I'm going to be out of backhoe and a dump truck. So this has to work. somewhere but this is still a very scary part so I'm gonna see if I can't use the outrigger a little bit here's the new plan um, we are danger close to rolling that and it's hard to see with the camera but that is about a 15 foot drop off I mean it is straight down the dirt that that back tire sitting on over there is very loose so you step on it you're going for a ride um, basically we're at teeter moment on this thing so we got some trees here so I'm gonna get a chain and come along come along here that way it can't physically roll any more down uh, even if it would slip a little bit it just bottom itself out but we'll, i don't know how we're getting out at that point but at least we're not losing a backhoe and a dump truck uh, so from that point the problem is we have a bunch of these little stumps in here and this is why i got stuck originally the wheels kept hitting it and it kept sliding itself down uh, path of least resistance it's like science once we have this chain coming across here, then I will use the boom of the backhoe, try to put it down the bank a little bit and grab onto something and lift the machine up. There's not much negative pressure because it's from 76, so the pump's not quite there. Um, but limited negative pressure, enough to try to lift this up 
and you bring it onto this side, it's this tire, onto this side of that little knob there. Um, the only thing is, I don't have the chains and come alongs that I need to do this. And so what we're doing, and I really hope this nylon strapping is, is, is strong enough. I don't know what it's rated for, and I don't know how much pressure is on it. As long as that holds for the next little bit, we'll be all right, because Donald is going ahead and bringing over some chains that come along that he has at his house. So as soon as he gets here, uh, I'll have an extra set of hands too, which is really awesome. That was some response time. I just turned the camera off. I just said, as soon as Donald gets here, and I turned the camera off, and now here he is. All right, so it's not leaning as hard. We have some coming along here. The tightest this tree can't go anywhere. So next, I'm gonna try to get back in the dump truck and pull this front end up a little bit more. Um, it might just be enough just to spin it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Here, down to hold the camera. When all else fails, throw money at it. So we're gonna get some binders, some more come alongs, and some more chains. We're gonna yank this thing back up that hill. I ain't letting it go down. <laughs> All right, they got, we just need to winch got it. Really heavy straps. Why don't we just get a big winch? We'll winch it. We'll tie a winch to a tree. And we have to be able to power it. But we could Batteries. Do that. We could put the winch on the backhoe. Bolt that to the, it's only 400 bucks. Bolt that to the backhoe bucket. Just got some chains, some binders, some more toe straps since I broke the one. Gotta replace that. Uh, I don't know, some other stuff. I'm like, there goes like 300 bucks. But I guess 300 bucks is cheaper than another backhoe. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now we gotta go home. We're broke. Ooh, air this is getting fun. He's redoing this back chain because that's what's holding us up. Right now, we're holding ourselves up with the boom. And the front end is being held by a 40 foot chain, a binder, and a ratchet strap, or not a ratchet strap, a uh, come along. And then we got this tow line on the, on the dump truck holding that in place. So, our problem is every time we try to pull forward, we're fighting against that chain on the back there. So this is up to here. And then what we'll do is I'm going to take the pressure off the boom and then it acts like it's going to fall and then I'm going to try to pull the front end up and over. I don't want to get too much slack. Look how much farther we are from that bank now. Now it's just the front that's caught. All we have to do is get the front end up here and we're set. Like, we're clear. All these stalks that were down here, I pick it up, got to clear of all that. So just throw that for safety. Just throw that on for safety. Alright, but you want like this, like this much? Not quite. A little bit more, a little, a little tighter? Well, this will give you what, three feet that you can pull in front? I know, just enough so it doesn't get back down to that ledge. Oh, oh stop! Stop! I don't know, Daniel, careful with them chains. Up. <laughs> this was the ledge. I mean, this stuff is so soft in here. Look how much it pushed down there. Like, look, my feet are flipping out from under it. And our tire sat right here on that edge. It wasn't even the whole way on the ground. And that's a good, at least 10, if not 15 foot down there. Oh, I can breathe again now. <laughs> <laughs> 